That mouth-watering scene from the movie Chef brings us to the first cultural treasure we're digging into, Cuban food. The buttery press Cubano is known worldwide for its melty Swiss cheese, ham, roasted pork, and a healthy dose of pickles and mustard. Oh, look at that. Okay, see how golden that is? That's how you want it to be every time. Well, interestingly enough, the Cuban sandwich isn't actually Cuban at all. It hails from my hometown of Tampa, Florida. Back in the day, Tampa was called Cigar City due to its hefty population of cigar makers. In the late 1890s, the sandwich became popular for Cuban workers to eat as they walked to and from work. The Spanish brought ham, the Cubans brought roasted pork, Germans and Jews brought the Swiss cheese, pickles, and mustard. The original recipe also included an Italian contribution, Genoa salami. Up next, the legendary Cuban cigar. Due to the trade embargo, many cigar brands were forced to grow outside of Cuba in places like the Dominican Republic or Brazil in order to sell to the U.S. Well, now that relations are being normalized, the authentic Cuban stogie may return to the U.S. Right now, Cuban cigars are forbidden fruit and everybody wants what they can't get. So there's a huge pent-up demand for Cuban cigars, which as soon as the embargo ends will be released. And what better way to enjoy a fine Cuban cigar than with the last cultural item on our list, Cuban music. The Buena Vista Social Club was a members club in Havana that closed back in the 1940s. It became a hub for music, dance, and collaboration between artists. The Havana Institution reopened in the 1990s. They formed a band under the same name and are still jamming out today. And that's a little taste of the Cuban culture oh my God. on the lowdown.